All right, everybody. Well, the van is out on its first maiden trip. Uh, I made it out to Quartzsite here in 2024, January. Uh, but what this video is about is I want to do a little tour of my buddy's van setup. So his van right here, this is a Mercedes Metris. Now, as you guys will see, this is a pretty darn neat, this is a pretty darn neat little van. And unfortunately, uh, my understanding is uh, last year, 2023, was the last year that Mercedes produced this van. Uh, but this is my buddy's. This is a 2020. He bought it brand new. Well, in 2020. <laughs> um, he paid, I believe he said it was in the low 30s. I think he said he paid 32 or 33,000 for it. It's uh, apparently the post office also uses these. I think they remove the decals of uh, being a Mercedes, but it's it's kind of uh, they have passenger versions, but this one is is kind of a cargo version van form. Um, now, as you guys can see, it's not a high top or anything. It's uh, just a standard van. Uh, it is 10 foot long from the seats back, um, but it is a neat little guy. It blends in. He does, uh, as you guys can see here, uh, some uh, camping out in the wilderness, so to speak. But he's also done a fair amount of urban camping, as I think you guys can imagine. Uh, this thing blends right in. He's been working on it slowly, doing his build uh, since he's owned it. And he's kind of figuring out what he wants and what he doesn't like. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a tour in there. I think he's got some really neat ideas uh, that some of you guys might uh, appreciate. And uh, I think this is probably one of the lesser known vans of the van world. And I think it's, I think it's probably a goodie. I think the only thing that uh, some people might shy away from though is the Mercedes tag and the big maintenance cost that comes with that. But you know, if it's a good product, it's a good product. That when Gary bought this, you know, he wanted something that was stealth. He wanted something that had great gas mileage. He wanted something that was going to be big enough for him to use both as a camper and, you know, if he was doing any other kind of work, you know, to carry stuff around. But his another requirement that he wanted is he wanted it to fit in the garage. And that's a, another really nice thing about this van is it's, uh, he could fit this in his garage. And that's pretty uncommon for most of the vans that we're going to put stuff, you know, that people are going to turn into campers. Not saying all of them, but a lot of them, whether it be via length or mostly height, they don't fit in the garage. So this makes another really nice feature about this van. This thing on the freeway, he gets between 23 and 24 miles per gallon. Now, as you guys will see in there, this is not a high top. You're certainly not standing up in this one. But you, when you put all those factors together, uh, you've got a stealthy looking van. It's essentially just a cargo van. Uh, it's 10 foot long. So when you guys look inside, you'll see it's got a, a, a other than the standing height, it's got a pretty substantial amount of space he does have a rack he's got a little bit of solar up there uh, he said this thing drives like a car which i can kind of imagine based on its width and stuff and 23 to 24 miles per gallon folks if you can give up a little bit of comfort on the interior as far as standing height and things like that this is a pretty uh this is gonna be a hard travel van to beat all right let's go take a look at the back here this is probably one of my favorite features so he made himself a little garage, but he made it a little bit different than what you typically see. So we're used to somebody that has a bed that runs side to side, east to west, I guess you'd say, and a little garage underneath. Now keep in mind that this thing is 10 foot long from the seats back, so that's pretty good size. What he did here is he put a wall back there and as we'll see when we move on the inside, uh, it kind of functions like a Dutch door, so you can open up a top hatch. But he made this whole back section here a garage. So we're looking at, you know, probably 18 to 24 inches deep. He does own some other vehicles, but this is kind of his primary, one of his primary daily drivers. So, you know, not going to go into everything, but he's got his little wood. It's got, uh, he, as you guys will see, Gary is a kit guy. He likes everything in kits. So each one of these boxes has a special purpose. But the point is, uh, this is a pretty neat idea back here. Because uh, he, like I said, he does use this when he does work and stuff. He will uh, 
you know, carry his tools and things like that around. And then as we could see here, this back door right there, kind of like a little Dutch door, opens up so when he's inside, he can access whatever he wants. And of course, just like it's his high school bedroom, he decorated it with, you know, cutouts from a magazine, which I actually like in an old school fashion. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, now let's move on into the interior. So we have a little bit better light. I opened up that Dutch door back here, as you guys can see. So that would allow you to get access to that garage area and the bottom half of that door also opens. I'm going to leave that open for the purposes of the look around inside of here, just so we have some better light, but that does shut up and uh, has a flat wall. One of the things I like, and I'm going to talk about the interior a little bit more here, but one of the things I really like what Geary did here is uh, this whole back wall, as you guys can see here, is a series of maps and it's it makes a really nice aesthetic on the interior. And then, of course, you know, you can kind of see places that he's traveled. He's, you know, or actually, let me zoom in a little bit there. As you can see, places that he's traveled, he's put little, uh, you know, his little dots and stuff. So he lives in the southwest with me. So that's, you know, where most of his stuff's on the west there. Um, but this is it. Now, yeah, it's not, it's, uh, you know, fancy woodwork or anything. But Gary camps out. And is on the road far more than I am, so I can't take away any of that street cred. But this is everything you need. Nice and simple, nice and comfortable. Um, let's start over here. So, uh, very nice interior. He put a swivel seat on his passenger seat, which I think is a wonderful move for a van. So that can swivel around. Right up here behind his driver's seat carries a uh, dual zone DC compressor fridge. Very efficient, uh, very effective. Um, he sometimes has a little TV that he mounts there. It's not here in this particular uh, day. And then here is his bed. Now, welder, now uh, uh, Gary can do a little bit of metal work. So this is actually a steel frame bed, as you can see there. And he welded it all up. Uh, uh, just what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. I like it. Uh, he did some very simple uh, insulation on the on the side walls, uh, just some uh, half inch uh, XPS, that pink stuff. And then he's uh, covered it up with a nice fabric there. You can see he's got his uh, just simple strip lights. Those are the ones multicolored with the little remote controller. Very effective, especially for a face, uh, space in here. At the top here on the ceiling, it's got a few little puck lights, as you guys can see. And uh, I don't remember what this is called, but this is that waterproof, smooth, textured, uh, wallboard you'll see it used in a lot of industrial applications and he put it in here and it's very nice because it's easy to clean um and it's white so it's going to give this perception of a higher roof because keep in mind this is a a pretty you know this is just a standard little cargo van here so this is probably uh um oh i don't know i'd guess it's probably you know somewhere around 50 inches tall i'm just guessing i actually didn't measure that but uh you know it's like a standard van height in here um he's got his little little uh vent fan there which uh let's see if we can see it from the top here he got uh well it's actually covered actually is this covered up at the panel no it's right over here so but he bought the lowest profile one of course he wanted to maintain uh the best aerodynamics he can without a bunch of stuff sticking out of the top all right let's jump on in here and this is actually not bad i mean uh, just crawl right in all right so on this wall which i really like here uh, he made a, he has this uh, little wood table area, which is kind of his main uh, operation center, I guess you can, if you will. Uh, he also welded together a steel frame, and then he uh, he put the wood over the top of it. And then the one clever thing is, this being a cargo van, is he's designed it to where uh, this thing is bolted in in just a few spots in the vehicle. It's certainly strong enough, but he said in about an hour he can unbolt this this side table the bed and have everything out of here and this thing can be back into a cargo van configuration if he needed to which i like that modularity up here he's got his uh little control center his inverter on and off he's got a bunch of uh ac switches and usb and cigarette lighter sockets and all of his switches and one uh, battery monitor he's even got his little bluetooth uh speaker there all in one convenient, easy to access station. And uh, going back to my point about Gary and Kit, 
all of these individual baskets as opposed to me where I just kind of ram stuff where I, could, wherever I can fit it. Gary is very organized. Each one of these little boxes you can pull out and it's a separate kit. It might be a coffee kit. It might be uh, a cooking kit, you know, so forth. Uh, very, very, very nice. But I mean, man, this thing in here is super cozy. We were in here hanging out last night, turning on the lights. You can just kind of sit in here. And this is super comfortable. I'm actually a little bit envious of this setup, to be honest with you, because it's uh, it's so easy to drive. It's like it's like driving a car. Gets great gas mileage, uh, and then stealth. You know, he he'll do quite a bit of stuff where he goes into cities and urban areas where he might park. And and uh, as you guys can imagine, uh, that nobody has a clue. And there, you know, he can just camp in there. He can cook inside of there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. In a nutshell. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you. It's a, I think it's a van out there that uh, I'm not saying no one has it, but it's not as popular as a lot of the other ones that you see. Uh, but I think it's a, it's a, it's kind of, in retrospect, it's kind of a, a shame that uh, Mercedes is discontinuing this. 